bona fide member of the Philippine women's national football team. Get to know Natasha Alquiros. I do football. From the moment I first played football, I already fell in love with it. So I played in my high school team for Woodrose, and then I got called up for the national team when I, during my senior year in high school. When I decided to go to college, the best thing about football was that it helped me get a full scholarship to De La Salle University. So I was playing for La Salle, and I was also representing the national team. And I have a club team. My club team now is Green Archers United for the women. For me, one of the best things that you can learn from playing football, you learn how to lose. Because anyone can be a winner, but not everyone can be able to take losing and turn it into a positive experience. I do sports analysis. Well, for me, it's such a great experience to be able to talk about what I love to do, especially for the UAAP. It's nice to see it from a different angle, because when you're playing, you know, you just see it from your team's point of view. But then, as an analyst, you see it in a more wholesome perspective, because you have to analyze not only one team, but both teams. I do coaching. As of now, I'm coaching for Gold's Gym Athletics in Sheridan, alongside the Chiti Kaligdong. They opened the futsal court there, and we started to coach children there. Like Chifi and I, we both have C licenses. We took a coaching course, the AFC accredited C license coaching course. So it's nice because we're able to pass on what we know, not just as a player, but now also as a coach. It's nice also to give back to other people, to help other people grow. By coaching, you're introducing everyone to the sport. I do traveling. I love to travel. And any time na may makikita ako na deal, I always grab the opportunity, especially when I'm on break from football. It's so nice to be able to see the world as well. Ever since I finished college, I made it one of my biggest goals is to go travel the world. So I've been to Europe, to Amsterdam, Spain, Sweden, to France. I went around Asia as well, to Thailand, to Cambodia, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Malaysia, and of course, around the Philippines. It's, I like being immersed in different types of culture, being able to see how other people are and trying to immerse myself with them. I do scuba diving. It's, it's always been something that I love to do because I love the water, I love the ocean. My favorite adventures have to do when it has to be in the beach or wherever I get to explore in the water. That's why I decided to go scuba diving and take the classes to be able to scuba dive all the time. So wherever I go, you know, I can be able to see not everything is just above the ocean but underneath as well. I do skimboarding. Skimboarding, it makes me feel like I'm gliding on the sand. And you know, I love trying to do new tricks, especially because I feel that as long as it has to do with the water, I'm not going to get hurt. I feel invincible, actually. As long as it has to do with the ocean, with the water, even if it's just sand, I feel more confident. That's why I feel that hindi ako masyadong natatakot. I do hiking. The Philippines, you know, daming pwedeng tignan. Kahit malapit lang, hiking, I realize, is becoming also a big thing here, especially when I search online. Well, first I did the easy ones, like Taal, Batalao, and then you go to a bit harder, Mount Pico de Loro. And then it was when I hiked Mount Pulag when I realized it's a different type of adventure. You know, you don't have to go out of the country to be able to see something spectacular or beautiful. It's not only exercising, you actually have a goal. It's like, I have to get on top of this because I can, so I can see the view. You too can be a weekend warrior only here on Game Day Weekend.